Do you ever wonder how they twist and tie these things up to have the 12 different ways you can wear a neck gaiter? That's what we're going to look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to check down in the description for my social medias. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now. Let's see if we can twist tie this thing up 12 different ways. All right, let's rock out these 12 different ways to wear your neck gaiter. I have my, my fold away mirror right here just so I can see what I'm doing a little bit. Let me adjust that. Um, so on the Mission website, they actually have their 12 plus ways. And here I have my Mission gaiter. I've used this in a few videos. I actually ripped it. I snapped it too hard. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start out real quick with the neck wrap. This is the easiest one. Don't even need directions. All right. All you do for the neck wrap, just right there, right on your neck. Keeps dust off, keeps the sun off. Not that bad. All right, so the next one, it's a little more challenging. We're gonna look at what's called the bandana. So first we're gonna turn this inside out. Ready? All right, so I turned it inside out. Now. We're going to reach our hands through. I'm going to grab this side and I'm going to reach my hand through and grab that side. You see that? Now I'm going to pull them back through just like that. So I have a little bit of a knot and then I can tighten it up here at the back of my head. And there's my bandana. Pretty sweet, huh? All right. So let's try a hood. My hair is going to slowly get more messy as I go along and that's just okay. All right, so now let's try this as a hood. So we can go right back into the neck wrap. And so if you're going biking, motorcycle ride, the key is to cover your ears. Hopefully my ears are not sticking out through the hole there. But see how that's like more of a hood? Covers my whole head. Got face protection. Actually, <laughs> my hair is sticking out of the hole out of the back there. That's funny. Um, Anyway, that's the hood. All right, so now we can go into a face mask and that's been really popular recently. So here you go, your face mask. Some people like the elastic here. Some people fold it down and up and so the elastic is lower. It's just really how you feel, right? How comfortable that is. All right, so that's one through four. Let's continue on with number five. All right, so number five, I probably could have just left it there for a second, is actually just a headband. That's real simple, isn't it? Putting it right here on your head, keeps the sweat from dripping down your face. That's pretty cool. All right, so from the headband, we're gonna do um, what they call a skull cap. And so we can twist it inside out just like we did before. Um, and if I have my hand, I'm gonna put it right inside here. I'm gonna put this right on top of my head, okay? You see that? And then I'm gonna take this top part and just fold it back or down my head there. So that's like my skull cap. I've got this neck protection back here. And so I'm all protected and secured right there. Can you see that? Pretty simple. All right, so after the skull cap, um, I think they call the next one another skull cap. It's a just a different way of a skull cap. There's actually two ways you can do it. So if I have this thing inside out and I just start twisting, so I have that twist piece there in the middle, and then I fold this down over top, it's another way of doing a different kind of skull cap and see how that's just like that. I can also do it on my head. So if I have, I'm gonna do it inside out, remember? Where's the mission logo? Yeah, it's inside out. So if I have this thing on my head, I can fit it the way I want to, make it nice, and then just start twisting this around a few times. And once I get it twisted around a few times, I can actually drop it back down just like I did before and it creates the same type of thing. I can wear this under a helmet, hiking, I can do whatever I need there. All right. Some of them are a little more challenging than others. I'm going to bring it back inside or right side out. I'm going to put this on as a neck because now we're going to do what they call the ninja. Other people call it the baklava, balkalva or something like that. All right. So put this up over. It's under my chin here, right? So I'm gonna take the material that's down here and actually pull it up over my nose. And there I have my ninja. Pretty sweet, huh? I'm still covered down here, well, sort of. Not bad. I've seen other people do it like this where they actually take the bottom part 
and bring it up. I guess that's personal preference. Um, this way I find actually stays up more. So if you're, I don't know, skiing or whatnot and you're going to put a pair of goggles on, this has a really a whole lot of protection. So tell me, what do you think of these neck gaiters and the 12 plus ways you can manipulate them? Whew. This way it's hard to breathe and talk. Anyway, I would love to hear from you. Let me know down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts? All right, so there are five more, okay? The next one I think, look at myself in the mirror there a little bit. Um, the next one I think was kind of silly or kind of cheesy. Um, and all you do is put it on your wrist and wrap it around just like that. And they call it the wrist wrap. So I was thinking, why would I even want to do that? Well then, what if you're out kayaking or hiking and you didn't want to wear it on your head, you didn't want to put it in your pocket, you just wanted to store it? Why not? It makes sense, it's comfortable. All right, so from the wrist wrap, we're gonna move into, um, I think it's called the neck shield. And the neck shield looks a whole lot like the hood from earlier. The only difference is when we put the neck shield on, our hair is still out in the front. It does cover our ears, we're covering our neck, but you gotta make sure that it doesn't go down as far as the hood. The hood went down like here earlier. The neck shield is definitely up a little higher. All right, so the next one they had is the beanie. And the interesting thing about the beanie is the directions were the exact same as the bandana from earlier, where you had it inside out, you twist, you pull it. Everything was the same, the wording was even the same, or very similar, but then the picture at the end was different. And I just couldn't get it to work out the way they had it, so I did it my own way. So I have this thing right side out, and I took it right about here, almost in the middle, and I just put it into a little bit of a knot, just like that. Alright, so then I can throw this on my head, and this knot is right there. It's adjustable, I can tighten it, and that looked just like the picture, I just couldn't get there directions to work out that well. All right, so almost there. We got two more. We're gonna look at the hair wrap, full hair wrap. So pretend I have a lot of hair. It's luxurious, it's flowing, it goes down. I've got this around my neck here. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, pull this up my face, capture my hair in the back, and now my hair will be all through this. So just pretend all my hair's in there, but that's how you do the full hair wrap um, keep your, your hair all together like that. All right, the last one is the neck gaiter. The neck gaiter looks just like the neck wrap. The only difference is in the back, you bunch it up so it's a little taller, and the front, it's a little tighter, but otherwise, it's the same as the neck wrap. Those were the 12 different ways you can do a mission neck gator. I will try to link the PDF down in the description so maybe you can check them out for yourself. And that wraps up my review of the Mission Neck Gator 12 plus ways to use your neck gator. For those of you that reached out and asked, hey, we want to see how they work, I hope this answered your question. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of how to work this neck gaiter 12 different ways. So what I want to do is I want to link uh, my original video when I reviewed this neck gaiter. Um, one thing I didn't show in there is when you get it wet, you snap it and that helps the cool or makes the cool go into effect. But just be careful when you snap it because it can rip just like mine did. Anyway, I'm going to link that video right up here. I would love it if you would click on this link and by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at that video. Go ahead. Click it. It's safe. I promise.